Hello, brothers and sisters. Um, before I, oh my gosh, I started this video at exactly nine, nine twenty-three p.m. on nine twenty, which today is also a nine twenty-three. The twenty becomes two, and the three is the year. So today was a nine twenty-three day. I started recording and I happened to look at the clock and it was 9.23 and I have something else to show you about that. Um, but before I show you what was shown to me today, um, I need urgent prayer requests, please. Um, my older brother will be flying out to San Francisco on Sunday, the 22nd. And he'll be there for seven days. Then he comes back home to Florida and will be going to Anaheim the first week of October. And then he'll be there for seven days. He'll be going to Anaheim October 13th through the 19th and then back home and then back to California to San Diego on October 22nd through the 29th. Those are all seven day periods. Um, so I ask please, if you would please lift him up in prayer for safe travels. I just found out today that he was flying out there. So, and we know that things are, are escalating with our government and their decision on what to do about the attack last Saturday. So, please, if you would um, ask for protection, ask that Father surround him with his holy angels and protect him. He's flying out there for work. He travels a lot for his job. So, a couple people left comments on my last video. I think it was part one. Uh, regarding my dream because they were apparently just listening to the video and um, with all my videos I know it's more convenient to just listen because you can do other things while you listen because I actually do that myself the majority of the videos that I uh, take part and and listen to on YouTube I actually listen to more than I I'm able to watch because I do so while I'm working so I understand um, however uh, when I go back into edit I end up adding things that I forgot um, images or text and in that one, first part one uh, I spoke about my dream and then I posted it I, I actually typed it out I did speak it out and then I decided because of the nature of all the dreams and visions and things that people have had about that and the watching regarding that place um, I didn't want to speak it so and the music that I had playing in the background I thought it was playing during the slide with my dream but apparently it wasn't so there's silence so a couple of people thought that the video just got cut off but if you happen to listen to the video and you didn't read the dream then you missed it so you might want to go back um, and it's in my spirit I feel like it's some kind of warning because I hardly ever remember my dreams anymore so when I do and it's something like that I had no idea he was going there until after I had the dream so, please keep him in prayer, if you would, please, and myself as well, um, as I, I pray for you all. Okay, so, today, when I got done working, I was, uh, sitting in my car in traffic, and, um, there was a truck in front of me, and I will show you the picture here. I have this in paint because I want to show you something that I didn't notice until afterward. And me being an artist, I'm my eye is trained 
and also with what I do for a living, my eye is trained to see details. Um, and I see something in this image that I didn't see after I took it and then looked at it and put this here. Uh, so I have it small for a reason and I'm going to blow it up because I want to show you something, but I didn't want to blow it up yet because when I do it, you can't read the text. So, um, so let me put it back down. So I was behind this truck and, um, uh, I knew where this truck was going because the post office is, it, it backs up against my neighborhood. So, uh, so anyway, it was about 4.30 p.m. today on the 20th, and as I said, it, it's now 9.30 p.m. on the 20th, September 20th, 2019. And so, I'm, we're sitting at the stoplight, and of course I look at the numbers, and as you see here, I, I mean, guys, is this the Lord trying to tell us something? I mean, this just can't be coincidence. Everything I've been covering... This just can't be coincidence. So, um, as you see from the text here, let be, well, I noticed there was a large sphere directly above the numbers in the clouds. And it's right here. It's right here. I'm going to put a, a circle around it so you can see. Um, but the picture, it, you know, wasn't quite this dark. I, did some contrast and some color enhancement to make this what I saw before I did anything to it I noticed it and I wanted to make it stand out more so um, but let me the numbers let me just show you so you can see better I mean are you kidding me so the 923 I circled with the red and then we have 811 what have I been covering in the past 12 videos that I put up um, and you can you can see here now that I've blown it up I mean look are you kidding me guys how in the world is this possible this has to be some kind of it has to be some kind of sign it just can't be coincidence I just I just can't believe that so let me show you if you can't see it already the sphere so right here looks like an edge and right here looks like an edge and then these clouds seem to go they this this cloud right here seems to like hug around it that's just what I see I mean do you see it is kind of like, it looks kind of like a donut like it's a a ring, a cloud ring around this sphere. So let me show you how big. So there's the one edge and the other edge is right there. So this is approximately how big the sphere is. I'm trying to make it a perfect circle. That's about how big it is. That's not the sun. Let me shrink it back down so you can have a, a perspective. Oh. I was looking at the sun up in the clouds this morning, and it was, you know, <laughs> about yay big. So I, guys, I'm, I don't know if you see this or not. Let me let me move it so you can. Do you see? Can you see the edges? There's uh, right here where this light is, this little light right here, you can clearly see a, a rounded edge. Yeah. So, I wanted to show you that. This is the original. Um, so, as you see, we had cloudy skies. Not as easy to see it, but I still, I saw, it was easier to see on my phone the edge right here and then the other edges over here so which is why I did the contrast and and the color enhancement so um, this is a sign 
We're getting ready to mount up with wings like eagles. Oh, I sure hope so. Um, so let me look at the calendar with you real quick. So I guess I'll just keep doing videos and just sharing stuff with the calendar with you guys because, I mean, so many things are coming up. It's just, it's just crazy. Um, so I think I went over some of these. I remember, oh no, this is, I was, that was not in a video that I mentioned this. Um, so tomorrow is the 21st. These are the Strong's numbers. Uh, you know, and, it, and like I said, it can't be coincidence that these numbers mean these things. So in the Greek, 721, 721 for the seventh month of September means a lamb. And 921 is Barnabas, Barnabas who was a companion of Paul um, that helped spread the gospel. The 13 days behind Julian is... Um, Seven, eight, and nine, eight. In the Hebrew, seven, eight is a judge of Israel, and in the Greek, it's an ancestor of Jesus. On the Julian calendar, that is ten days behind, which is what it originally was. It is a nine, eleven. On the Enochian calendar, it's Tishri seven or seven, seven, seventh day of the seventh month. Free of charge, meaning uh, the, that no debt is owed. Meaning that our debt has been paid. In Hebrew, it means Issachar's territory. And the reason I have Jericho walls come down. Now, you know, like I said, take everything that I show you with a grain of salt. Pray about it. Seek the Holy Spirit. Um, I'm not saying that anything at all is going to happen on any of these dates. I'm just sharing with you what I have been shown and what I see in the spiritual, with my spiritual eyes. Um, the reason I have hit this here, I'm not saying that, that um, on Abba's calendar, the new moon day or the first day of the month is... A separate day unto itself. When you read in scripture about the Sabbath day and about New Moon Day and the feast days, they're all mentioned separately because they each have their own place on the calendar. Um, in my understanding of Yah's calendar and, and other people, I'm, I'm not the only one, so it's not like I made this up. Um, New Moon Day, the first day of the month, is to is it's merely a place marker just like the equinoxes and the solstices on the calendar that I showed you the calendar wheel um, they don't count towards the six working days and they don't count as a uh, towards the seventh day Sabbath um, some I have seen uh, a study where new moon day is considered like a mini Sabbath so, New Moon Day is day one, then you would count the six working days after that. And the reason being, reason you don't count New Moon Day is because you don't know when to start counting your work days until you have a place to start from. So, you have to know when the, the month starts, and then that day is separate, and then you say, okay, well now we know New, new Moon day was this day so now we can start counting our six working days so then day two through seven would be the six working days and then day eight on the calendar the eighth day of the month is the seventh day sabbath when the israelites marched around jericho they did so for seven days straight and on the seventh day they went around the city seven times and the priests blew the trumpets now they would not have gone to war, which is what they were doing, by seizing the city um, on the Sabbath. So it was not the seventh day Sabbath that they marched around the city seven times. It was actually the sixth working day. Because if you count day one, new moon, then the six working days, that brings you to the sixth working day.
and then day eight being the Sabbath. So the only time that you can um, even mark on, on any kind of calendar the day that the walls of Jericho came down, it would have to be the seventh day of the month. And it doesn't, it, no, scripture does not say it was the seventh day. I mean, sorry, that it was the seventh month of Tishri. Um, I just put that there because this month is such a high watch month in the Bible and on the calendars that we're looking at uh, that I just put it in there. But no matter what month it was, it had to have been day seven. There's no other, there's no other configuration because if, if it wasn't day seven of the month, the day before the Sabbath, then they would have been marching around uh, the city on the Sabbath day, which was, of course, forbidden. So, as something spiritual, you know, that's just there for uh, consideration. And then, of course, on Torah calendar, tomorrow is the seventh day of Sukkot. And then Sunday would be the last great day. Now, could this the last great day be the day that Martha mentioned her brother Lazarus being raised? Sure, because it is called the last day, because it's the last day of the Feast of Tabernacles. Um... But it could also mean the last day of the month. It could mean the Sabbath day, because the Sabbath, the seventh day Sabbath is the last day of the week, and then you start back over with day one, and then count again. So, um, there's just so many things here, guys. It's just, it's unbelievable. Um, these meanings are interesting because the 721 in the Hebrew means a refuge for the wandering, uh, you know, like under Yeshua's wings. And we are sojourners on this earth, so we are wanderers. We are in the desert, wandering the way the Israelites did, waiting to enter into the Promised Land. Uh, in the Hebrew, 921 means to scatter, and, um, you know, this is what happened when Yeshua was arrested, and his disciples were scattered. And on the Jewish calendar, in the Greek, 621, tomorrow is Elul 21, it means to lick. And the reason I have this here, because at first I was like, well, you know, what does that have to do with anything? Um... And the place that it is used is in the story about Lazarus and the rich man. Not Martha and Mary's brother Lazarus, but the other Lazarus, who uh, was had sores all over him and he was dying. He was a beggar. And he would beg the rich man for a handout and asked if he could just eat the crumbs from the rich man's table, and of course the rich man, you know, basically said, get lost, and they both died, and of course, um, Lazarus entered into Abraham's bosom, bosom, which is where the righteous went before Yeshua. The point I wanted to make is, um, to lick is what the dogs did to his wounds. It says that the dogs licked his wounds. In other words, they cleaned him. Um, if someone had wounds or sores, you know, usually the lepers did, that means they were considered unclean. And the dogs licking the wounds um, was symbolic of him being made clean. And in the Old Testament, the dogs were usually was usually another name for Gentiles. Uh, the Pharisees, the Jews, would call the Gentiles dogs. So, that whole story is symbolic of the fact that... And, and you know, Lazarus was, was a Jew, of course. And so, it's symbolic of the Gentiles are the ones that will 
because they have the gospel. They're the ones that will make you clean by sharing the gospel with you so that you may enter in to paradise. This is all symbolic, of course. Um, and then it's also tied to the Good Samaritan. The man that he saved was near death. He had been beaten up by robbers. And just think of, you know, the, the, the broad spectrum of what these things mean. Everything is pointing to the bigger picture. Everything in scripture points to the bigger picture. And the robbers and the thieves have left this man for dead after beating him. The good Samaritan, which represents Yeshua, comes along, rescues him, puts him on his horse or camel, I forget what he was riding, takes him to an inn and pays the innkeeper, the, the man of the house, to take care of him and heal him. So he basically saved the man's life and his he cleaned up his wounds. So, um, you know, did you see how everything just ties to the whole message of the gospel? All these meanings tie to everything that we're getting ready to experience hopefully soon. It's all it, it, everything points to Yeshua. It's all about Him. He is the Word that became flesh. And in the Hebrew, 621 means belonging to Neith, or Neith, I don't remember how you pronounce her name. She was the wife of Joseph. She was the Egyptian wife of Joseph. So she was a Gentile bride of Joseph. Joseph, of course, was the type and shadow of Yeshua. And she was his Gentile bride. That's us. Um, so, yeah. And of course, we know we're, we're watching this day. This is the day, like I said, my brother flies to California. So please lift him up in prayer. Um, things are heating up, guys, with that whole situation that happened last Saturday. And um, thank you to the person who left the comment. Um, I have to apologize because I didn't vet, but I had no way of knowing that uh, the video that I showed, I pulled the, I pulled the video down of that plant getting, that, that exploded. Come to find out, thank you to the person who left the comment, that was not actually the... Saudi oil field. Apparently, uh, that was in a video on YouTube posted in 2017, but the apparently the incident happened in 2012, which is interesting because I keep seeing a lot of 2012 stuff popping up. <laughs> My brother's going to California to three different cities for seven days each. That's 21 days. Um, 2012 to 2019 is seven years. I'm getting ready to show you something that, uh, in regards to that. what I mentioned about the dedication of the altar for Solomon's Temple, which began on Tishri 8. And then it went on for two weeks and ended on Tishri 22, which is interesting because that's this, you know, here's the 8th and here's the 22nd, with the 15th being in the middle. So there's two weeks back to back, but with three, a beginning date, a middle date, and an end date the 8th, the 15th, and the 22nd, which is all tied to the Feast of Tabernacles. You know, both of these days, well, not this day, um, but the 15th through the 22nd is. But this day is is tied to it in 1 Kings chapter 8 and 2 Chronicles chapter 7. It's uh, In 1 Kings, it's 
I, I will go into that more in depth because I, there's something to it. He had me look at that last year around Hanukkah and Feast of Tabernacles, and it, this could be the year that uh, we're supposed to look at it more in depth. So anyway, I mean, and, and then there's this that I covered in the last video. And I just have to say, because someone left a comment on one of the last videos, you know, some people who leave comments think that it's all about them. Like, they're the only ones watching my videos. And you know what kind of people I'm talking about. Uh, they said something about me repeating things and trying to in instruct me on how I should, you know, present a better video. Well, you know, first of all, Yeshua is my boss, and I go as the Spirit leads me. Secondly... I repeat things on purpose because I get new subscribers to my channel all the time and they haven't seen some of my previous videos and so I repeat things so that if they missed it plus people forget because I share so many details in my videos that you might forget that I mentioned something and if I repeat it maybe that will remind you. So anyway, uh, I'm going to cut this one off here and I will come back because guys, up until the, you know, as you know, I'm kind of paying attention to the Anakian calendar and up until October 6th, which is Tishri 22 on the Anakian calendar. And it's interesting because this is Tishri 22 and on the Julian calendar, which was they say it's 13 days behind. It is 9.23 on the 6th. And then it's interesting here because the 10 days behind, which is what it was originally when the Gregorian took over, it's September 26th, which is 7.26, which means our plot so so. Not saying rapture is going to have it on this day or any other day. I'm just showing you what I see. So I guess I will make another video and... Um, share some more stuff. So I love you guys. Please stay prayed up. Forgive anyone that you may be harboring any. Do not hold on to any bitterness. Let it go. Give it to Yeshua. Ask for forgiveness. Forgive others as he has forgiven you. Because if he's about to come, you, you do not want to be left here because of something like that. Something that you... You know, we know, and I, I, this is for me. I speak to myself. I've had to do it, and I do it every day, as a matter of fact. I will see you guys in the next video. Just be ready. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Shalom.